Well, hello, everyone. I'm going to give it a few seconds and let the chat fill up. got one person watching which sounds like an epic win hi Eric Ten Hag <clears throat> all right how we doing I thought since Tomb Raider remastered has come out and I'm a big fan of the series and I haven't played it in years it was about time to revisit the good old days but modernized slightly with better graphics so this is the first of me, like, giving this a little try and playing it, so let's see what it looks like. Everyone ready? Let's dive right in. Alright, I'm excited. It's been a while. People saying they can't hear me. Someone confirm if you can, in fact, hear me. It's hard to say exactly, but you seem to be doing fine. Ah, good. Someone's just messing around. Ha <laughs> ha, you crazy guy. Miss Jacqueline Natla does from Natla Technologies. You know, creator of all things bright and beautiful. <laughs> Seal it, Larson. Yeah, check that out. I love Natla's style. How does that make your wallet rumble? Where does the money come from? That's what I want to know. Did she just have a bunch of people hanging around above her just waiting to drop some notes around her? This will look really cool on screen. I can't wait to see the new model for Lara, by the way. That's my interest. You could leave tomorrow. Are you busy tomorrow? Yeah, you got to love that mid-90s technology there with the laptop. Actually, it looked not too bad, to be fair. At least they, they had something that vaguely resembled what we're dealing with today. I love this. You know what, I could just skip this cutscene, but it's so cool. What the hell, I'm just gonna play it anyway. Let it roll. Let it roll. Mr. Sneaky Shadows says her, her boobs are no longer pyramids. Well, you know, that, that had a charm back in the day, but I'm hoping, yeah, they look a bit nicer now. Paul Schlock uh, has just joined as a new member, so welcome, Paul Schlock. You're with the Fellowship of the Drink. It's good to have you with us. It's funny, I did see the little, like, disclaimer from Crystal Dynamics saying, We're so terribly ashamed of the cultural depictions in this game. Now pass us our soy lattes so we can cry a little bit. Damn, man. I miss 90s games, they were, they were a different breed. So were the developers. Lara ain't taking no shit from them dogs. The all-knowing says what I usually drink. Well, right now I'm drinking some Woodford Reserve with a bit of Coke. The, co the sugar in the Coke will keep me awake and the Woodford Reserve will get me drunk. So I'm a bourbon and Coke kind of guy. All right, here we go. Oh, hello. Now we're talking. <laughs> now, I'm told that I can actually change it to the original uh, graphics if I want to. Let's, uh, let's see how it compares. Oh, ah, my eyes. <laughs> yeah, I'll tell you, gentlemen, 
That was a challenging wank back in the day. But you know what? Through adversity lies accomplishment. So, you know, it's uh, it's better this way. Let's, let's, let's keep it going. <laughs> let's appreciate the new graphics. All right. Let's go, Lara. I believe in you. We're going to see if we can get through this level, and I'm going to see if I can remember how to play this game, because it has been a while. The first level is essentially just like a training level. It's pretty... Pretty straight up, and it's pretty linear. Oh, I wonder where I'm supposed to go. However, I will go around the corner, because I'm pretty sure there's a secret or something, or a med kit, possibly. No? Oh, there usually was. I thought there was something hidden in here. Guess not. All right, let's continue on our adventure. Oh, it's up here where it is. I remember now. Fuck you, bats. That's what you get for existing. Someone's asking why did the wolves leave footprints but not Lara? Good question, yes. I don't know, she usually... I thought she did, but never mind. Oh, pretty sure I can get up here like this. Oh, come on. Is there any further I can go? Nope, not really. Okay, maybe not. Try this site. No, okay. Anything over here? No. All right, let's carry on on our way. I love the fact that you can just switch between styles at will. I mean, look at that. <laughs> wow. Technology. It truly was a different time. It was a more innocent time in gaming. But, you know, games developers weren't activists back then, so it was a nicer time as well. Am I using tank controls? Yes, I absolutely am, because that's how I understand how to play the Tomb Raider games. And to be honest, I don't know why you need that exclamation point there. Yeah, I remember there was bats here. Yeah. Let's carry on up here. Lucas Motta says, Drinker, are you playing Final Fantasy VII Rebirth when it comes out? Yes, I'm going to play that. I'm looking forward to it. And I don't care that it's a remake. In this case, it's okay. Pretty sure I can jump this. See, this is where the grid layout comes into play, because you could quite easily understand what distances Lara could jump and what she couldn't. I just love the atmosphere of this game as well. Like, man. There's often long stretches where there aren't a lot of enemies kicking around, but like that sense of just isolation and exploration, like you really get that feeling that you're exploring these abandoned tombs that nobody's been in for for generations, for hundreds of years, and it just feels great. It's, uh, you become like hyper focused on, on just the little details around you. You really get absorbed in the environment. Oh, I think there's wolves here. Pretty sure there's another one down here. Maybe not. Alright. Yeah, we gotta get up here. Yeah, when I compare this game to the Tomb Raider remakes, like, man, they just... They missed something, man. Like, they obviously the graphics are infinitely better, like kind of what you'd expect, but the, the sense of just the joy of exploration um, and, exp and finding secrets, like unlocking new areas, like, they just don't have that. Ah, sit down, boy. -o. <laughs> Melanie Max having a ball with the remasters. I bet she is because uh, she is a big fan of classic Tomb Raider. And this, from what I'm seeing so far, this just seems like the perfect remaster. You know, the, they've obviously 
hugely improved the graphics when you see this versus this. But they've kept the controls, they've kept the, the real feel, like the level design's exactly the same. It's uh, exactly how you should do it. Kept everything good about the original game and just improved it a little bit. <clears throat> On we go then. Do the swan dive to end it. Woo! Alright, there we go. I say, oh boy, that calls for a drink. Mmm. Jaman says, Ass of Lara has been improved. It absolutely has. It's very pleasant to look at. This is where you got to do the whole run, jump, shoot thing. I think that's all of them. Alright, good. <clears throat> Someone's asking, did the remake round out her boobs or are they still triangles? Well, I'll let you judge. There you go. Hi, Lara. Looking good. Anyway, let's go. I'd like to raid your tomb someday. <laughs> Alright, what we got over here? Don't want to go that way. Uh, someone asked me, what's the last good Tomb Raider game? Oh, good question. Um, I think Underworld was pretty good. Um, yeah, because you had those three Tomb Raider games. There was like Anniversary, Legend, and Underworld. And I think they were all made by the same company. And I think they still retained the feel of the Tomb Raider games. You still had original Lara. Oh, shit. Hello. Damn. All right. I'm trying to remember, do I need a save point for this or can I actually just save it? Hold on. Game. Oh yeah, I can save wherever I want. Yeah, let's do that just in case I get killed. Uh, yeah, I think anniversary, um, I didn't love the controls for for various reasons. It felt like slightly clunky compared to this, and it's weird that I'm praising tank controls as being more effective, but I don't know, they, they just kind of were. Like, it seemed perfectly suited to the kind of task that Lara has to do. <laughs> God, the nostalgia is strong here, man, honestly. It just feels good to be playing this game. Alright, what have we got here? Oh yeah, I remember this. Because it's going to collapse under me, so... Got to be quick with this one. Alright. Yeah, it was designed around tank controls, which is exactly right. <laughs> I, I'm just going to change it back to the original view, by the way, because... Oh! You, you really had to use your imagination for that one. <laughs> yeah, it's sort of like a skull, I guess. All right, what we got? I need to drop down and then whoop, off we go. All right. Uh, now, this is the eternal question. Do I push or pull? Um, I think I need to push. All right. <laughs> Popcorn Max says Lara sexually identifies as an M1 Abrams. I mean, you know, she's got the guns for it, for sure. Someone's saying they've got the original copy of this game. So do I. I've still got it from my PlayStation 1. Um, and I think the CD's starting to degrade a little bit because some of the music uh, skips. But it still works, and that's the important thing. But, man, I must say I am very much liking this remake so far, or this remaster. It's not a remake. I hear bats. Lara's only natural enemy, apart from everything. Uh-huh. Oh, I thought she was going to do that. Uh-huh. Is 
Someone's asking how many swan dives did I do off cliffs? A lot. Especially that one where you've got to fight the giant mutant alien and you're just suspended like 500 feet above a lava pit. Yeah, I'd swan dived off that a few times. Just because I could. But I always felt a little bit guilty about it. Oh, fuck off, bat. Damn, these animals really fuck you up. Even a bat can mess you up. Ah, someone pointed out this was on Sega Saturn. It was, yeah. Which is an interesting choice, because the Saturn... It didn't really do 3D all that well. It was kind of a... It was a console that was really optimized for 2D gaming with some 3D elements. It was supposed to be this real powerhouse 2D console. Then they found out that the PlayStation was going to be this 3D extravaganza. Uh, in which case they had to kind of changed their plans, and their only solution was to throw a second processor in there, which wasn't great because nobody really knew how to, pro how to program games with two processors. But you had to love the Saturn just for how bonkers it was. Right. Okay, so I've got my key. Chris Mc... Taggart says, do you remember getting the quad bike drinker? I do indeed. That was on Tomb Raider 3, I think. Oh no, maybe there was an episode, uh, level in Tomb Raider 2 where you got one as well. I remember there was like a, an icy level where you got a quad bike. All right. I think there's a bear in here, if I recall correctly. Yep. Fuck. It's great that Lara will stay locked onto a target, even when it's behind a wall. There we go. Definitely makes things easier. <laughs> okay, so I've been in there already, so that's fine. Yeah, Tomb Raider 2 had the skidoo, that is correct. Uh, let's see, can we look up? No. What I like about this is they've actually put sky textures in as well, which you didn't have in the original game. Um, you just got a kind of white wall that was really weird. And then when you went to places like the Lost Valley, it was just dark. I, I honestly thought for the longest time that the Lost Valley was just a cave. Because that was how the, the PlayStation rendered environments then. There was such a short draw distance. Uh, someone's asking, where do you lock the dude in the fridge? You can do that in Tomb Raider 2 and 3. Okay, I think I'm going to have to go down here. Because I'm pretty sure there's a little swimmy section here. Oh, actually, wait, there's something in here, isn't there? Uh, there might be something on that platform up there. Ooh, yep, yeah, I'll take you. Because, man, Lara gets hurt easily in this. All right, that's all we need here. Down you go. All right, to the pool. Let's swan dive in. Woo! All right. Never remember if there's crocodiles or anything here. I don't think there is in this one. Hey, where am I going? Is there anything down here? I'm pretty sure there is. Let's go and have a look. Alright. Whoa, hello. What did you like it look like in the original? Oh yeah. <laughs> Let me ask you something, chat. Since a lot of you are probably classic Tomb Raider aficionados, did you prefer the voice actress from Tomb Raider 1 or the other couple of Tomb Raider games like I think it was 2 and 3? Oh wait, yeah, I've got to use this got to go a different way um yeah did you like the original voice actress or the new one that they got because i like the original personally i thought the, the the girl that they got in for tomb raider 2 and 3 sounded a little bit too old i'm only going up here i'm not, i know i'm backtracking here i need to get the air because i'm pretty sure you run short here
Shelly Blondes was the first one, yeah. And then Judith Gibbons, I think, was the second one and the third one. Oh, yeah. Switch over here. Let's do this. Come on. Pull it! Oh, fair enough. What have we got here? A secret room, perhaps. Got to be more than this, surely. All I know is I found the Lara from the other Tomb Raider games, from the modern ones, to be kind of whiny and annoying. Is there nothing else here? Okay, fine. Guess I've got to find a place to use that key. Let's see what else we got around here. Something down here. I'm going to save it as well, because I always feel like there's traps just waiting around every corner. Where'd you go? Where'd you go, Lara? Oh, that's weird. Wait, did I just load? Did I just load that game? Hold on. Oh yeah, I loaded it. Whoops! <laughs> Good lord. Okay, sorry about that. Fine. At least I know what I have to do. It's nice and simple. Right. That was silly. Yeah, it's weird. Normally it just defaults to save game, which is what every game does like this, because you would think when you access that menu, you're going to want to save your game instead of load it. But okay, fine. If you want to make things difficult for me, Tomb Raider. Uh, Bridge says there was no open bar last week. Yes, there wasn't. I was actually down in London and I was doing an interview with Trigonometry. Because last time I spoke to them was a couple of years back, and they wanted to get me back in to do another one. So I said, okay, I will. I'll come down to London and do it with you. But it did mean that uh, I wasn't available for open bar. That's annoying that I just defaulted to my previous game. Yeah, I'll get through it quick enough. <laughs> yeah, someone's talking about the, the grunts and groans that Lara's doing. Yeah. Um, I remember seeing an interview with Shelley Blonde when she was talking about this, and it's like, yeah, I basically had to spend an hour or so in the recording booth just going like, ah, ah, oh. <laughs> Everyone must have had a lot of fun with that one. I'm going to see if I can do the thing that Lara does. Let me see. It's like this. Let's see if she'll do it. Yes! She still does it. Bit needlessly dramatic, but it's always nice to see it. Let me screw you. Uh, someone's asking me if I played the Hitman games. Never really got into the Hitman games, and it's a shame because they're meant to be really good. And you get to just, you know, randomly kill people, so that always makes me happy. All right. Okay, so got the key, got this, uh, go in here and kill the bear, I guess, again, because I'm pretty sure it'll be there. I know you're going to come out of there, bear. Yeah, having a bad day, huh? Yeah, sorry, I understand. What's this? Uh, can I open that? Oh, no, that's gonna need the key for that. Okay, fine. Good. 
<laughs> Someone's like, stop shooting Bearing. I'm sorry. He forced me to do it, okay? No, don't need that. Alright, in we go. Oh yeah, so open this first and just check to make sure there's no places to use the key. Don't shoot Sargon and Dankula. Well, I promise nothing. All right, let's get some air. Right. Okay, and recharge. Down we go. I feel like there's something over here. If memory serves, and this is my distant memory from like when I was a teenager, so. Oh, yeah, there it is. Thank you, it's bulletproof, yeah. It's a well known fact that all Scottish people are. Oh, is she gonna make it? Is she gonna make it? Go. Go, Lara. Go, Lara. Go. There we go. Perfect. Where am I going? I like how she drips as well. Uh, no pun intended there. Ooh. Is that Magnum Ammo I see? The Magnums were always great guns. They had this, this awesome sound when they went off. Um, yeah. Right. Uh, Drinker, thoughts on the Tomb Raider remasters outselling Suicide Squad and the Justice League? It makes me extremely happy. <laughs> this is the kind of thing that people want, man. They want fun games that don't preach at you and don't have all the garbage in them that we're all used to, sadly. You know? These were made in a very different time in gaming, where games developers just wanted to have a bit of fun. And there is nothing wrong with that. So, yeah, if anything, I don't know, maybe they'll learn a bit of a lesson from the success of this, remasters of, like, 30-year-old games um, and maybe when it comes to making the next Tomb Raider game, they'll apply that logic. Right, okay. Give me this. There we go. Uh, Drinker, remember Kane and Lynch? Yeah, I do actually. <laughs> it's a pair of like hitmen. They had a lot of fun. Right, now I'm going to try this. I'm going to try and save it properly. Game. Save game. Yes. Yeah, Mary Apple says it's annoying that they put a trigger warning at the start of the remaster. It really is, yeah. But once you get past that, you don't have to think about it again. So there's that, you know. Let's see what else we got along here. I need to find a place to use this key. There's a lot of bats here, which suggests that I perhaps haven't been here before. <laughs> Someone's like, I'm still rocking Windows 98 with a Voodoo 3. <laughs> the Voodoo graphics cards were amazing. Someone's saying, what's the trigger warning for? Because, oh shit, forgot about that. Sleeping on the dog, eh, doggos? Ah, there we go. Damn, that one took a lot of killing. I like how they all end up the same way. Honestly, reminds me of Smokey. 
my critical doggo. He he sleeps like that all the time, and it doesn't even require a bunch of nine millimeter rounds to put him into that state. All right, I need to use this. Oh, that's a good sound. You just knew everything was going to be okay when Lara started making noises like that. Actually, before I go any further, it just occurred to me that people have been sending me super chats. Let me just answer a few of them while I'm here. So, uh, Blue Collar Loser, I know you. You've been on open bar. Uh, says, love you, buddy, but I don't know if I can watch this. I may get triggered. Yeah, I know. Tell me about it, man. Uh, you also hear remaking the first Witcher game for modern audiences. I'm not joking. Yeah, I've heard about that. Hopefully when they're talking about, you know, removing stuff that hasn't dated well, it's going to be like just control schemes or something like that, like some aspect of the UI rather than, you know, the actual story. Um, Justin Doyle gave me £50, so thank you very much, dude. Says, go on there, drink here. Let the booze raiding begin to a time when a woman being the key to everything was cool. Raid on, sir. Exactly, yeah. Um, thank you, man, and I appreciate it. Uh, Northern English Bastard says, Square boobs plus dual pist pistols equals nostalgic fun. It absolutely does. I mean, look at that. How cool does Lara look? She's got her swimsuit on, she's got her hot pants, she's got her ponytail, and she's got dual pistols. Life is good. Um, the Right Tackle says, Drinker, you ever played Helldivers 2? And I think Starship Troopers deserves a happy hour, maybe with Sargon. Yes, I would happily do that with Sargon, although he'd probably, like completely changed my opinion of the game or sorry the the movie um benjamin todd says i watched my dad play this on windows 97 as a four-year-old and i thought it was the coolest thing in the world congratulations man you've suddenly made me feel extremely fucking old <laughs> i still play the ogs every year or so as a gamer's pilgrimage watch for secrets exactly good advice for life man thank you um Mr. Sneaky Shadow says, no original LucasAid for the stream. Yeah, La Lara was once used to advertise LucasAid, and it was cool as fuck. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to stick to Coke and bourbon for tonight. Uh, River Song joined the Fellowship of the Drink, so thanks, man. Welcome aboard. Casey Boyd says, drinker, I phrased my question in your catch-up poorly. The weren't we going to see the ocean comment from the arm into Eren in Attack of Titan is when he had to plug the hole in the wall with giant boulder. Ah, okay. Well, that's fair play, yeah. Um... It's like sealing up the wall, I suppose, to like, you know, prevent them from getting out and, and prevent the Titans from getting in. Um, yeah, I suppose it's them committing to the fight that they're involved in and just holding the line, really. Uh, the survive Stephen D says the Survivor trilogy weren't bad. They were just they just weren't Tomb Raider games. Just uh, retitled them Survivor, starring Lady White Gill, and no problem. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much what it is. Um, Devil Ninja says, I remember wanting to shoot faster, so I hit the button rapidly. <laughs> yeah. If you can uh, if you can angle the guns correctly, you can get them going off in sequence rather than simultaneously, which is very cool. All right. Now, I remember each of these passages leads us to a little test. I have to do it without fucking up. Uh, yeah, so if I fall here, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Just land in the pool of water. So it's just a bit of strategic jumping. Someone's saying this polygonal Lara's got more curves than Taylor Swift. She's definitely got more than Zendaya. Fuck me. I saw those pictures of her in that outfit that she was wearing at the... Um, the BAFTA? No, not the BAFTAs. Whatever it was. Film Choice Awards. or, or No, sorry, the premiere for Dune 2. And good lord, she's got the body of a 10-year-old boy. It's bizarre. I do not understand why Zendaya's a thing. Especially not when Sydney Sweeney's around. Oh, yeah. Someone's saying that's so mean. <laughs> it's like, well, I'm just, I'm just telling it like it is, man. Fucking hell. All right, I see spiky things here, so I'm gonna have to run through. Oh no, sorry, it's not spiky things here. It is just a switch. Okay, fine. Tom Holland's got bigger breasts. Fuck, man, I've got bigger breasts than Zendaya. <laughs> Speaking of which, is there a way I can zoom in a little bit? 
The, you know, the one thing this game could have been massively improved by would be jiggle physics. I feel like they missed the trick there. Oh, no, that's not where I'm wanting to go. I want to go down. Save. Just in case. This is what happens when you open up the ability to save whenever you want. You end up abusing it. Oh, okay. What we got here? Yeah, okay. I want to get down there without dying. Okay, camera, come on. They still haven't entirely fixed the, the whole camera doing whatever the fuck it wants thing, but uh, okay, fine. Can I get up there? Nah, there's no way I can make that jump. God, you say I'm being brutal. Lord Bothos says Zandaya's got a bit of that uh, fetal alcohol syndrome face. <laughs> Christ, man. <laughs> you took that to the next level. <laughs> uh, someone's saying you can move the camera if you're using the controller. Yeah, I can use the right analog stick to move it around a little bit. But sometimes if you're in a corner or whatever, it's just locked in place and it won't go, which is annoying. Because sometimes you want to zoom in on Lara. Sorry, I'm just going to pour myself in a little drink here. So, I've got to fuel myself up for this, you know? I don't have any Lucasade to hand. Someone's saying, did I see the news that Madam Webb has lost money? Oh my god, imagine my shock. You know, <laughs> I thought that movie was destined for box office success. Uh, okay, right. This is where we have to be a little bit more careful. Um... All right. Ooh, not going to let me look, eh? So, right. Ah, I see. Yeah, the camera's being a bit of a pain in the arse here. Ah, move. Sorry, I'm not messing. I'm not trying to mess around with the game here, but the camera won't let me see where I want to see, which is slightly annoying. That's purely there to fuck with you and just get you in the way. Uh, sorry, to get you to go where they where you don't want to go. Uh, right, so sorry, I don't need to go there. <laughs> we got Tatiana to dress up for me <laughs> as Lara. <laughs> Tell ya, that was teenage drinker's fantasy right there. Um, I did have a girlfriend, actually, who kind of had a physique that wasn't too dissimilar to Lara's. And I felt very lucky at the time. Someone said, Sydney is too short. She's like five foot two. Don't care. When she's got a build like that, I can live with it. And yeah, it's a weird thing, but it's nice to just see a Hollywood actress who actually looks like a woman. I don't know. What to say, man? It's just like they they all seem to have this weird, boring, androgynous look about them these days, which is just not appealing in the fucking slightest. I sense there's a trap here. Just before I go any further, just in case I fucking die. Oh shit. 
Yeah, that'll be it then. I forgot about these things. Let me take a drink to prepare myself. Alright, there we go. Alright, do, 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 get the timing right and go. Son of a bitch, where did you just drop me? Ah, a bear, eh? That's a problem. That's going to be a problem for us, gentlemen. We need to think how we're going to approach this. <laughs> I gotta love the animation, man. <laughs> All right, let's just try and kill it. Oh, this fuck. Man, it's breathing like me after a special session with Tatiana, I'll tell you. All right, there we go. So, have I got the thing that I need? I feel like I don't, but let's try it. Oh, maybe I do. Right. So, I just need to get that thing out of the way, and we're all good. It's amazing how little I remember about this game. The first level is, like, imprinted into my mind, but this, um struggling with a little bit. I'm just having to actually figure it out as I go. Something in here that I should know about? Is there? Is there? Just before I pull that switch. Uh, oh, okay. What have we got here? this. Ah, Uzi magazines. Okay, cool. Yeah, once you get the Uzis, it's game on, man. They are amazing. I think I said this back in the day, um, when I did like a little comparison video between old Lara and new Lara, but man, when you were dual wielding a pair of Uzis and fighting an alien in hot pants while back flipping like you just felt like an absolute boss life was good all right well that's got to be the switch then i suppose let's flick it and see what happens yeah as someone pointed out an unexplored tomb but it's got uzi magazines in it um yeah okay sure <laughs> That is a very true point. Where did they come from? Who put them there and why? Can I jump this? I can try. Nope. Okay. Cannot jump that. But... The swingy things have stopped. Where else do I want to go? Is there anything else up here that I need to be aware of? Check over here. There's not like a tunnel here, is there? Oh, maybe there is. I feel like I can't jump that. Maybe it's this middle bit. Nah. Okay. Let's try it in here. See if there's anything else I should be finding. we got what are you okay good all right that should get us on to the next level lovely jubbly ah, i should really have swan dived off there but never mind 
there's always a chance that you're not going to make it and you'll swan dive straight into the floor, in which case you just feel real bad. Oh shit. Now they're moving again. Okay. Well, it really should be here. Is there anything else that I've missed? Hmm, okay. Oh yeah, it's on the other side, whoops. All right, let's save just in case I die, because that would be terribly inconvenient. Oh no, <laughs> son of a bitch. Oh, it's fine, I can come up here. Yeah, all right. I just went down the wrong door. Whoops. My bad. All right, cool. Continue. Yeah, Jeremy Field says, Alexandra Daddario is one of the few actresses that has Lara's bill. She does indeed. She has got... A very impressive set. Let me just do a couple more super chats while I'm here. Um, yeah, Johnny Z says, and he's been a member for five months, says, my favorite is Tomb Raider 2 for its locales. Which of the three is your favorite, Emperor Drinkler? Uh, mine is the first one, um, but I totally get where you're coming from with Tomb Raider 2. Like, it's got like that kind of mafia influence. You get to go to Venice, which is awesome. Um, but I, I just love the variety of Tomb Raider 1 where you get, um, you start off with the Peruvian caves, then you get like this sort of Greco-Roman um, environment, um, then you get to like the Egyptian stuff and then like the weird alien stuff at the end. I don't know, it just feels like it's got a really good progression to it, an escalation of like the the challenges, the architecture, the, the scale of everything that you see. I think one's my favorite. Casey Boyd says, love your writing advice video, especially about setup and payoff. It's why One Piece readers are so loyal. Oda uh, famously loved Wizard of Oz, but hated the ending. He vowed to his fans that the One Piece has, is a physical treasure. Excellent, yeah. I'm glad it was helpful for you. And um, yeah, like it's something that people have been asking me about for a while. So I was glad I was able to help out a little bit. Um, wait, just a second. Um... Brutal's channel says, not going to lie, I've got a soft spot for the first Tomb Raider movie. It was dumb, but hey-ho, it is what it is. Did you like it, Drinker? I did, actually, yeah. The the first Tomb Raider movie with Angelina Jolie, I thought it was pretty good fun. I think she was a perfect choice for Lara. Um, she embodied like the, the sensuality, but also the charisma, and she was okay with her guns. So, uh, yeah, I didn't mind it at all. Um, I wish they'd stuck more closely to the plot of the games rather than this weird... Um, standalone movie storyline that they went for but you know it is what it is the second one was a bit garbage um sideburn says how's the melanie max simulator <laughs> i hope she's not watching me play this she'll be fucking embarrassed by how bad i am uh boothio says uh, is there any studio you'd trust to make a new tomb raider game today mm, probably a japanese one really at this point um i wish like core design aren't really a thing anymore are they they shut down um, it'd be great if you could get the original gang back together, but uh, at this point, yeah, probably um, it would have to be like a, a Japanese studio. They're the only ones that I don't think would su subscribe to the message. Uh, COD3 Warrior says, trigger warnings are today's parental advisory labels. I'd say at this point they help sales. Um, yeah, I mean, if they've got stuff like that, it's probably a sign that it's a half-decent game and it doesn't uh, adhere to the, the modern-day crap. Uh, Enigma Zone says, Drinker, are you going to review the Markiplier movie Iron Lung when it comes out and thoughts on it if you've heard of it? If good, I think this film could be the start of the upset in Hollywood. Um, I had no idea that he was making a movie. Um, don't know anything about it, but it'd be interesting to watch it if nothing else. Um, Downstream says, Drinker, what a treat you and Razor playing the game so recently. You're doing the Lord's work. Believe that! I got my critical doggo plush just a couple of weeks ago. My nine-month-old niece loves it when she comes over. Cheers. Thank you, man. And I'm glad you enjoyed the plush. And I'm glad your niece enjoyed it too. So thank you for the support. Uh, Dietrich, second of Coomland, says the ambient music is just so great. It absolutely is. Yeah, it's just perfectly paced as well. Nipfunk Gaming says... 
Good to see you playing Tomb Raider. Are you playing Final Fantasy Re Final Fantasy Seven Rebirth this month? Yep, I'm going to play that for sure. Um, Chaos Nagi says, Drinker does gaming starring Lara Croft. I love saying starring Lara Croft in many situations. For example, Crystal Dynamics complains about the Tomb Raider classic design starring Lara Croft. <laughs> nice, man. Uh, Ghost in the Craig. Cheers, Drinker. Lara is definitely the forever babe. Absolutely. It's been forever since I played the older Tomb Raiders. The reboots were whatever. I agree. 100%. I mean, if you bag Lara, man, you're sorted for life. Not only is she hot, but she's also rich. So, you know, there's that too. Um, Media Ghost says, would you rather be stuck in the Tomb Raider 2013 scenario where anything can kill you or have Lara Croft be played by Danny DeVito, shorts included? Uh, I say... Put Danny DeVito into those hot pants. Maybe he can make it work. Hey, thoughts on Helldivers 2, Starship Troopers? Haven't played Helldivers 2, so I don't know, I'm afraid. Um, but Az is playing it, and he seems to like it, so fair enough. Uh, Albert Nada Retro says, What do you get when you cross <laughs> Dolly's boobs with J-Lo's booty? Sophie Vergara sounds about right to me. Yeah, she's hot. She's older, but she's still hot, man. She's got it. Uh, Poopa Chalupa says, all I remember was this game uh, curing my critical shrinker as a young boy. Oh yeah, boys became men because of this game. Um, Steven Bobo, drinker, did you download and play Final Fantasy VII Rebirth demo? No, I'm not going to play the demo, I'm just going to wait for the actual game. Um, Albert Nada Retro says, playmate Petra Verkake did some vids as Petra Croft. She's Miss December 89, 100% natural and John Burns inspiration for She-Hulk's look. Nice! Fair enough. Um, that is a good thing to be inspiring. Uh, let's stand in a corner so we can see her. I think I can zoom in a little bit. Yeah, there we go. Uh, if you do it just right, you can actually go inside her head, and then you, you get to see the weird geometry of the character. But okay. Just so you know what we had to work with back in the day, it was this. Uh, <laughs> Damn, man. <laughs> anyway, let's get it back to something nicer. All right. Ah, uh, I think this is the Lost Valley. I think. Yeah, can I get up here? Maybe. No, I can't get up there yet. Let's see if I can jump over here. Pretty sure there's a secret to be found. Oh yeah, there we go. <laughs> I was saying she's got a forehead in the older version, yeah. She got a forehead like a drive in movie theater, man. It's terrifying. should go up there. She should be able to jump this without a running jump. Because if you push it too hard, she'll bounce off it, and then that's that's all kinds of pain for all of us. Whoa. It's just... See these textures, just having actual proper textures. I know we're still living in block world, but, you know, it's definitely adhering to the older g game's level design, but, like, comparing these textures to this, oof, that PlayStation 1 dithering was hard used in the, the original game. Okay, looks like we got a machine. Hopefully I, I haven't missed something that I need here. Okay, let's try it. Oh no, I got a horrible feeling there's a missing cog. Son of a bitch. Yeah, as people are pointing out, the gameplay wouldn't work without the blocky environment. Yes, 100% agree. Alright, uh, let's go in here. To the drink! Yeah, the current's gonna pull us downstream. And we're going to go off the waterfall. Woo! All right. I wonder... Yeah, I think we have to grab a cog from the valley, actually, and bring it back up here. Oh, shit. Oh, let's 
great that she keeps locked onto her target even when it's dead. Okay. No problem. That's fine, Lara. That's your style. Anything we got in here? Probably don't need this right now. Okay, so that's going to take us back up to where we started. Okay, we press on then, I guess. Owen says he enjoys my videos, Drinker. Thank you very much. I'm glad you enjoy them, my friend. I feel like there's more wolves than there used to be. I don't remember being this many here before. Uh, okay. I'm missing here. Hmm. Okay, can't get up there, clearly. Must be a different route. Let's take a look around. If in doubt, explore. Someone's asking me what I think of the remaster. I very much enjoy it so far. I think they've done a great job. Very much kept the spirit of the original game. The atmosphere, the soundtrack, all identical. But they've just... Uh, they've upped the graphics a bit. Which is all I really need right now. I want the nostalgia. Hmm, okay. There's a way to grab. Oh, yeah, wait a minute. Maybe I can climb up here. That's more like it. Hmm. That guy didn't fare too well. Have you lost weight recently? Ooh. Okay, to the valley. I'm gonna save this. I should point out, I probably wouldn't save it this much normally, but uh, when I'm Doing it on a live stream, I don't want to have to replay big sections of it because that's not exactly exciting for you guys. You know, Raptor, I feel like you're wasting a lot of time there by growling at me. You probably could have just run straight at me. Damn, the Lost Valley looks good. Look at this. Look at it. It's very pretty. Oh, there is a Raptor there. I mean, look what it used to look like. That's just, that's just brutal. And it's funny, right? Because they've retained the the fact that the frame rate chugs when you're in a big environment like this. I mean, the PlayStation back in the day was straining to to keep up with this. Like it was using everything it had <laughs> to keep going. Oh, we go over here. Yeah, nothing there. All right, I got a feeling. There's the big lad's gonna make his appearance anytime now. Mm -hmm. 
definitely easier when you've got the Uzis, I'll say that much. I love how a T-Rex shows up. <laughs> like, Lara's just like totally cool with it. Like, ah, oh, okay, yeah, it's just an enemy I have to fight. Okay. It's a fucking extinct dinosaur. All right, what we got in here? Hmm, I feel like there's something here. Yeah, that'll be you then. You know, seeing these raptors, actually, it reminds me of a, a Lara Croft statue that you can buy from Weta. Um, because it's really difficult to get classic Lara statuettes or any kind of collectibles, really, that look good, like classic Tomb Raider. But they made one, and it's her, like, shooting a pair of raptors. Like, she's leaping through the air, and she's kicking one back while shooting it with the dual pistols. And it looks fucking incredible. Um but it does cost like 1500 bucks, so it's not exactly cheap. But man, I feel like it's almost worth it. It looks so good. There must be something in this room apart from that. Apart from just a raptor. That's all we got. Is there nothing here? Oh, wait, what's that up there? No. Sometimes that level geometry can play tricks on you. <laughs> not going to lie. All right, well, carry on, I suppose. Yeah, it's called Lara Croft, The Lost Valley. It is, uh, it is a beautiful piece of artwork. If I had the money, I'd buy it. Well, guess there wasn't too much to see here. Fair enough. Right, we need to find the cog that's going to get us the machine turning. So, let's see, is there anything here? Let's go down, have a look. That doesn't sound promising. Someone mentioned that there's three cogs. Is there that many? Son of a bitch. That's not what I want to hear. What we got there? Don't think I can climb up there. But again, nice to see a skybox. Because we didn't really get that before. It was just, like, black. Alright, where did I end up here? Let's see what we've got at this end of the valley. Oh, what's this? A place I can climb? Is there secrets to be found? Must be something up here, surely. Maybe not. Right. Let's we'll see what's waiting for us over here.
Right, we got ruins. Check. Before we go in, let's see what's up here. <laughs> yeah, someone's point now. I feel the fact that dinosaurs still exist is actually a bigger and more exciting discovery than what Lara Croft is looking for. <laughs> yeah. Like, if you've discovered dinosaurs existing in, in our world, in our time, that's pretty big. You could probably just retire on that. We got anything in here? Is there something? There's a lot of, like, blind tunnels that don't actually take us anywhere. Oh, there's something. We've got a bridge. Okay. I don't know if we can jump this. This looks pretty far. But let's try it. Let's just do it anyway. We got one cog. Okay. Look, Lara looks pretty pleased with that. Wait, is there something in here? No. Okay. Just the textures being a bit weird. Right, we're down. Now we need to go into the ruins, if I can find them again. Where did they go? They're over here. So we've got one cog, we just need two more. Before I go on. I feel like there's going to be more of these dinosaurs in here. Anything here? No. Yeah, as someone's pointing out here, it's more of a puzzle-solving game than an action game. And that's exactly right. Yeah, you definitely do have to defend yourself at times, but this game's much more about exploration and problem-solving, and I love that. It allows you to just get absorbed into the atmosphere. That's so much better. Right, that's cog number two, which is nice. Right, okay. Nothing else in this bit. Question is, is there anything on this side? No. Okay. Yeah, as people are pointing out, you can save any time you choose. Yeah, because in the first game, you used to have to rely on save crystals that were scattered around the map. And you could only use them once, and there was only a couple of them. So you had to think pretty carefully about where you wanted to save. Especially in a map where you had to do a lot of backtracking, so... You have to be a little bit strategic about it. Which, again, I liked. Um, it obviously suits me better for something like this. Where I'm having to do quite a bit of... Um, you know, I'm streaming, so I don't want to have to do loads of like reloading and stuff. What do I see over here? There's various caves here. Maybe it's in this. Oh no, did I not just come out of that one? Let's take a look. Yep, yeah, as uh, Wawado pointed out, you could save anywhere on PC. Yes, you could. If you were part of the PC master race, you could save wherever you wanted. And that was very convenient. Oh yeah, I've been in here because there is a dead raptor. But where is the cog? That's what I want to know. Maybe it's just out in the open. I don't know. Let's have a look. Oh. Let's see if there's anything here.
Alright, I can't get up there. Because it's too high. I feel like there's got to be some reason why this is here. See if I missed anything in here. Oh, wait a minute. Is this where I'm going? That's more like it. And we're definitely getting higher. Sorry, Lara, that I keep making... Yay, there it is. All right, cool. Look, I went back there. I knew there had to be some purpose to this cave. Damn, it would have been a bit weird if it was just a raptor in there and nothing else. All right, is there anything over here? Pretty sure I can't go that way because I'll just fall. So, yeah, okay. Okay, so I got all the cogs. Let's go and put them in the machine. I wonder if another T Rex is going to show up. How fun would that be? I also feel like there's a shotgun kicking around somewhere in this valley. I just never remember where it is. <laughs> Interesting glitching there. <laughs> Alright, up we go. Come on, Laura, I believe in you. Question is, which way is it out? Oh, yeah. It's over here. No. Okay. So that's where we went in. So, all right. Back up the entrance way. Don't worry, Lara. We're going in the front passage. No worries. I just glitched into the wall. But that's, that's all right. It's been known to happen in old PlayStation 1 games. Just put your face first into a wall. You'll learn to like it. Yeah, some of people point out as well, you, you don't have to play tank controls. There's like a modern control scheme where I guess you use the analog sticks, but fuck that. Totally doesn't gel with how this game was designed, so I don't know why you would do that.
anything else that I need to look for in here? No. Ah, I'll find I'll find a shotgun later. It's not that important. Right. Let's put the cogs in. As someone said there, tank is best, modern is ass. Couldn't have put it more succinctly myself. There we go. Now, before we do this, is there anything we want to grab while we're here? Angelina Jolie was a pretty good Lara, as someone mentioned there. She was indeed. Oh, wait. Is that what I'm saying? Ah, wait a minute. There it fucking is. It's hidden out of sight there. I'll have you. What is this weird area? Yeah, Reskin says uh, Chris Barry was a random bit of casting. No, he wasn't. Chris Barry is always a good bit of casting. Uh, I will always love him for his portrayal of Arnold Rimmer. Cool. That's it. We've got the shotgun. We've got our cogs. Let's open this up. What does this do? Ah, yeah, okay. So I guess we can swim through here. Let's see what we got. I think we just swim to the end of the level if I'm not entirely mistaken. You go, Lara. What have we got here? An area with stuff in it. Take the shotgun shells. Thank you. Yeah, someone's pointed out the shotgun would have been pretty handy for the T-Rex encounter. The game doesn't just hand it to you. It's a bit of a clumsy weapon because you can't fire it on the move. You really have to stand still and blast away with it, which is... Not great when you've got a T-Rex bearing down on you. It's probably more useful against the Raptors where a couple of hits will kill them. But, yeah, no. It is what it is. Oh, hello. What we got here? What is this area? Oh yeah, so this is the area that was flooded before. I guess I have to go down the waterfall? That used to be there? Oh shit. Ah. <laughs> okay. What do we have here that's different? Oh, yeah, there we go. There's a passageway that we didn't have before. Oh, for fuck's sake. Fine. Okay, I'll just swim it. Seems like it. Okay. Yay! All right, that got us to the end of this level. All right, allow me to do a few of the super chats here. Um, let me see. 
Okay, where was the last one? Oh, yeah. Uh, Lord Botha says, I feel like we think of the old games as longer than modern games, but in reality, I think it just took us longer because we died more and had less saves. That is definitely true, yeah. Um, they were more challenging, I think. There was definitely less hand-holding. Um, you, you didn't get constant prompts from the game telling you where you needed to go or where the next area was, so there was definitely that. Um, and I think they, they made the use of their resources pretty effectively, but you generally didn't mind backtracking. I don't know what it is about modern games, but I feel like I get frustrated with them more quickly um, versus the older ones. I didn't mind all that like exploration and going back on my, my previous areas and stuff. Uh, Alex Yeager says, you've been one of my favorites for two years now and your passion inspired me to start making videos on my other channel. Keep up the good work. Thank you, man, and best of luck with your with your channel. Uh, Big Daddy MRI says, I got my doggo plushie. Yes, my daughter immediately stole it, but eventually returned it. Good, I hope you showed her who's boss. It's napping in my lap now. Thanks, man, enjoying the game. Cheers. Cheers, buddy, appreciate it. And thank you for the, the awesome work that you do with Modern Man. I really appreciate all the help you give me. Crit Nature says, hey, Drinker, there's also a shower scene with Ana de Armas in one of her early Spanish movies. Recommended to check it out for research purposes. Well, now I know what I'll be doing after this stream's finished. Uh, Adonis Paul says, it's T-Rex time. Absolutely. Uh, Noose says, hey, Drinker, you may have already answered this, but what's your opinions on the rebook remake of Tomb Raider? Me personally, I'm not a fan of the direction it went. Also, I love your video on how to write a book. Thank you. I'm glad it was useful for you. And yeah, not a huge fan of the remakes, especially the remaked version of Lara. I think she's really annoying and whiny and just, yeah, don't get her at all. I think they tried to copy Uncharted way too much. I miss the, the classic adventure style of Lara. Um, so yeah. Don't like them particularly. Nate the Scott says, This was my mum's favourite PC game, along with Fate of Atlantis when I was a kid. It was my favourite too, but for different reasons. <laughs> yeah, I know those reasons. There's two of them. Thanks, man. Uh, Riza20 says, What are you raiding tombs, you necrophiliac? Well, you know, what can I say? I just like money, you know? That's why I, I, I want to find the treasure and sell it off. Um... Albert Nada Retro says, How is this for a girl boss X over Alice? Resident Evil, Celine Underworld, Joanna Dark from Perfect Dark, and Lara Croft team up in the Fallout Earth. Hey, I'll, I'll go with that. As long as they're played by hot actresses, sign me up. Tobe Ornitobe says, You ever thought about streaming games more often? I do, yeah. It's just finding the time, I suppose. Uh, Sean Sullivan says, Have you played Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy? I haven't. No, apparently it's quite good, though. I think it's meant to be pretty good, so... Yeah, I'd be up for it, I suppose. And Gagebo says, have you ever thought about trying the Yakuza games? Yes, I have indeed. Um, yeah, I never really got into them in the past, but like, there's been so many of them. You know, I'd, uh, I'd definitely be up for giving them a go. Same with the Assassin's Creed games. I never really played them back in the day, but I'd like to give it a try. Um, what I'm going to do, though, I'll probably finish up for now, because I've done the first three levels, I don't think I'll have time to do the fourth one, so um, I'll probably carry on with this game next time I do a stream, and hopefully it won't be too long, but I've enjoyed this tonight, it's been nice to go on a little trip down memory lane, hope you guys have enjoyed this little um, foray into the world of Tomb Raider as well, appreciate you all your donations, all your super chats, and uh yeah, thanks for accompanying me on this little jaunt. Um, but for now, at least, I'm going to say that I'm done for today, and that's all I've got for you. So go away now.